Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this short tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to install the latest version of Blender on your Android device. But before watching this video, I would advise you to go and watch the previous video I made on how to install Debian with the Genome Desktop on your Android device because we're going to be installing Blender using Debian, okay? So um, the video is shown at the top right corner of your screen right now. Make sure you watch that video and after watching that video, you can come back to watch this one, okay? And for those of you that already has Debian installed on your Android device, without wasting any more time, let's get to the video. Welcome back. So to install Blender, you're going to log into your Debian operating system. Do that with the method I showed you in the previous video, which is installing Debian on your Android phone using the period distro method, okay? Now that you're logged into Debian, update your repositories with the apt update command. And after updating your repositories, connect to the VNC server, okay? By using the VNC server command, just like I showed you in the previous video. Now that you're connected to the VNC server, you're going to, you know, head over to your NetUntarkex application. And then you're going to click on connect. And now that you're connected to the GUI, the first thing to do is to launch your terminal app. And you know, once your terminal is launched, install Blender with the apt install Blender command. apt install Blender. And then click on enter. And that command is basically going to install Blender on your Android device. But please note, that Blender only work on 64-bit CPU, so if your CPU is 32 bits, Blender is not going to function. So it is important to make sure that your CPU architecture is the 64-bit architecture, okay? And once the installation is complete, you can now locate Blender in your application menu, okay? So just click on your application menu and then, you know, launch the Blender application and the application is going to launch immediately, as you can see. So this is basically the simple method of installing Debian on your Android device. It is going to function fine and you know, you can use it just the way you use it on your desktop devices like your laptop. So please, if you found this video helpful, please make sure you like this video and you know, click on the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you'll be notified um, the next time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.